Hi, this is Stephanie from museums.love. We're here in the beautiful city of Dresden. Behind me is the Zemperbau. This is the home of the collection of old master paintings and the sculpture collection from antiquity until the year 1800. What's exciting here today is that this collection, both of them in this building, just opened after seven years of renovation. The walls have been newly painted, the collection's been rearranged, and there's some really exciting new things that have been happening here. How do we know? We were invited to the opening ceremony last night, and you get a special look on museums.love. Here we go. This was a big evening for the museum because after seven years of being closed, they were ready to make a real celebration out of the reopening. In the interior courtyard, they put up a big screen with a live stream of a concert. You can see the public really took advantage. There were lots of people there. We decided to start with the Antiquities collection of Greek and Roman sculpture. The Antiquities exhibition is reached by a staircase. That means there's a really theatrical entrance as you approach. At the top of the stairs, you're welcomed by the Greek and Roman sculptures that are so important they even bear the name of the collection. The Dresden Zeus, the Dresden Athena, the Dresden Maenad. They're all there to welcome you. The pieces are shown off really well against the new colors that they chose, a sort of dark brown maroon color against which the white sculptures really pop. I thought the color and the lighting choices were absolutely beautiful. It's also great that they highlight some of their well-known masterpieces. Of course, the flip side is there aren't so many of the smaller pieces in the collection. The small bronzes or terracottas, those are much less on display than these big, big sculptures. But that's understandable, they are very important. This room used to house the exhibits of armor. It was full of big glass cases that made the room feel jumbled and cramped. It's got so much more air, so much more space between the pieces, it's a real pleasure to be inside. One aspect of the antiquities display that's unusual, and I think a good choice, is to juxtapose common themes or statues that have something in common informally. So a Venus statue preserved in a full body copy is juxtaposed with a head of the same type. Or two warrior statues with outstretched arms are exhibited facing each other. These sculptures are not only artistically important, they're really important for the history of Dresden. Augustus the Strong was the ruler of Dresden and the ruler of all of Saxony in the early decades of the 1700s, and he's the one who acquired a lot of these pieces. In the painting galleries, the colors also are a big change to what used to be the case. The galleries used to have a sort of gray color on the walls, and now it's a strong color and differentiated between different rooms. So there's a dark red, there's a nice rich green, there's an intense navy blue in the side wings. It plays really well with the paintings together. Not only paintings, but sculptures are displayed next to the paintings. That's a juxtaposition of two different media, the 2D and 3D, that you don't see in every collection. That's something really well done in this one. So you'll have a Hercules in sculpture, next to a Hercules in a painting by Peter Paul Rubens. A sinuous, sumptuous statue of a young man is juxtaposed with a Rubens painting of Venus. It's only through this juxtaposition that you see hmm, they really do have a similar form. The dialogue between the paintings and sculpture gives us a new perspective on both. One of the biggest masterpieces of the collection, not just in terms of size, but also fame, is the Sistine Madonna by Raphael. That sits pretty much in the same place as it ever did, but of course is lit in a beautiful way and has a new color behind it that really makes it pop. The hang of the paintings also strikes a balance between the big highlights of the collection and the more intimate pieces in the side galleries. The side galleries are partitioned into smaller rooms that makes the experience of these paintings more intimate. In contrast to the bigger rooms, where the paintings are layered up the wall, similar to in the Louvre today or in St. Petersburg, the side niches allow these paintings to stand more or less alone or in juxtaposition with one or two other pieces. It allows us to get closer and to have a more personal experience of them. So overall, we were really impressed with this new exhibition. The great colors on the walls, the juxtapositions of paintings and sculptures, and certainly after seven years of renovation, it's an exciting thing to see. So go to the museum, check out more on museums.love, and I'll see you there.